Hannibal, you pathetic freak. Did you do what I asked and help me wash my outfit? Don't even try to tell you didn't. If that's really the case, I swear I'll rat you out to mom. Trust me, she'll be more than happy to give you a well-deserved ass-whipping for your disobedience. Hey Lily, just so you know, I did wash a dress for you. But next time you talk to me, it would be great if you could use some more polite words. Cool? Yeah, whatever. Like I'd give a damn about the nonsense you're blabbing. You want legged weirdo. Hey, listen up. Did you manage to mess up my dress in any way? If I find out that you did, I swear you'll be sharing a bed with worms. You better understand how important that dress is to me, alright? I'm gonna wear it when I visit my boyfriend's place next Monday. It's the first time that I'll be meeting Justin's family, so I need to look my absolute best. But who am I kidding? You wouldn't understand any of that anyway because you have no clue what it's like to be beautiful. You're just an ugly freak who has only one leg. The dress is perfectly fine. You can go check it out yourself. It's hanging on the clothesline. By the way, I'm in the middle of work right now, so please stop bombarding my phone like that. Give me some space, okay? Seriously? You're trying to tell me you're working? Huh, give me a break. You're just sitting at home, locked up in your room, doing who knows what, and you have the nerve to call that work? Stop fooling yourself and get a grip on reality. No sane person would ever hire a disabled dimwit who has only one leg like you. I bet you're just lounging there in your room, wasting your life away playing mindless computer games or pondering your pathetic existence, aren't you? What a complete waste of oxygen you truly are! Hey, can you please cut it out with those hurtful comments about me? You're well aware of the story behind my condition, right? I had to go through the amputation of one of my legs due to a nasty bacterial infection. It hit me hard, and I was devastated when it happened. Trust me, I never asked for any of this in my life. I couldn't care less about your feelings, you dumbhead. Calling you a sorry excuse for a human being would be an understatement. It's truly insulting to have a sister like you, an invalid freak in my life. You know what I've always wished for in every single one of my birthdays? I've secretly hoped that you get smacked by a car or something, just so I wouldn't have to endure your ugly face around the house anymore. And hey, by the way, you really are stupid, you know? It's like you have a PhD in stupidity or something. Wait, what? How can you even say these things? Don't you have any sympathy for me? We're siblings connected by blood. Even since dad passed away, both you and mom have treated me like some sort of personal servant. It's simply not fair to me, you know? Oh, personal slave? How fitting, Annabel. I must say, I'm honestly impressed. Who would have thought a disabled retard like you could grasp the situation so quickly? Bravo. Really, I'm blown away. Now, continue with this teller job and clean up my room for me, will you? It's a filthy mess. Trash everywhere, empty packages, not to mention the delightful surprise of empty beer cans and cigarette packs I conveniently stashed under the bed. Oh, and make sure you don't let mom catch wind of any of that, okay? Got it? Why do I always get stuck cleaning up your messes? Remember last time when I helped you tidy up your room and mom discovered those beer cans? You totally threw me under the bus and blamed me for it. Did you forget how furious mom got? She even slapped me and didn't allow me to eat throughout the whole day because of it. Oh yeah, <laughs> that memory is etched into my brain like a permanent scar. It was an absolute blast watching you get torn apart by mom's words. But let's be real here. You totally had it coming. Let's face it, you're already beyond useless, right? So the only way you can be remotely helpful is by being my personal scapegoat. <laughs> oh, by the way, anytime soon you plan on getting off your lazy ass and actually buying the things I asked you to? Or is that too much to ask from someone as utterly worthless as you? Lily, what things are you talking about? Didn't I already mention that I'm currently working? It seems like I made that abundantly clear, right? 
Oh, please, spare me the act, will you? Everyone in this house knows that you're not working. You're just a worthless amputee freak, completely useless to society and everyone around you. So how about for once in your pathetic existence, you actually do something worthwhile and follow my orders? Go buy me the things I need, like new shoes, new makeup, a fancy handbag, and a couple of shiny jewelry pieces. I want to radiate beauty when I meet my boyfriend's family for the first time. Wait, what? You seriously expect me to go out and buy all that stuff for you? Are you being serious right now? Oh, absolutely. Are you so brain dead that I have to spell it out for you every single time? I don't care about the price tag. Just go ahead and buy them all for me. I want nothing but the absolute best. Got it? And naturally, all the expenses are on you. Since you're constantly bragging about working from home and making bank, you filthy pig. Lily, you're being absolutely ridiculous. There's no chance I'm going to do any of that for you. If you're so eager for new things, why don't you head to the mall and buy them yourself? Oh, wait, my bad. I forgot you don't even have a job. So where will you even get the money to buy anything? <laughs> Seriously? Do you even have a clue who I am? I happen to be the goddamn owner of this house. How dare you have the audacity to defy a direct order from your master, you pathetic dog. Oh, you think you can just brush off my request? Well, guess what? I can easily rat you out to mom. And let me tell you, if she finds out that you had the nerve to refuse my simple little favor, she'll unleash her fury like never before. You'll be nothing but a pile of lifeless meat. Got that through your thick skull? Go ahead and do your thing, Lily. I'm seriously fed up with all your mind games over the years. Wait, seriously? Are you actually that dumb? I mean, I knew you had to rely on a prosthetic leg to get around, but I had no clue your brain was equally impaired. Aww, I feel kind of sorry for you. It must be tough navigating life with such a thick skull. Oh well. You know what they say, some people are just born losers, and they stay that way. Ugh, having a loser like you around is what makes my house reek like a dumpster. You know that, right? Well, I guess it must be a real struggle living with a black hole in your place where a heart should be, huh? Poor you. I genuinely feel sorry for anyone who even considered being your boyfriend. I mean... You're just a master at hiding your true self and plastering on those fake smiles. It's truly exceptional, in the worst possible way. Oh, what's that? Are you actually making fun of me, you scatterbrained imbecile? You really want me to tattle on you to mom and have her whack you on the head with that pathetic prosthetic leg of yours? I bet you're just dying for a reality check, aren't you? Consider yourself lucky that you still have your own room. But mark my words, when mom gets back, I'll make sure to spill the beans and have her toss all your worthless junk into the backyard. You can enjoy living out there like the pathetic trash you are. <laughs> what? I won't let you do that. Oh, go ahead and give it your best shot. You've been lazing around this house, accomplishing absolutely nothing, like a useless blob of flesh, for far too freaking long. Do you even comprehend that you're nothing more than a worthless waste of space? Trust me, if I were to kick you out and banish you to the backyard, mom would be thanking me for making such a brilliant decision. So get ready, you filthy pig, because your days of freeloading are numbered. Wow, Annabelle. You ugly pig! I couldn't help but take a pig into your room through the keyhole and what do I see? You all dolled up like some delicious Cinderella! What's the deal here? Are you desperate to find your so-called Prince Charming and prance around like a fool? Come on, spill the beans! Who's the lucky guy? Some clueless, armless imbecile, I assume? <laughs> you honestly make me want to hurl! You're nothing but a freak! Animal. Hey, you know what? It's actually not cool to spy on me like that. Seriously, mom? That's not nice of you at all. 
Oh, please, spare me your nonsense. I happen to be your freaking mother. And I have every damn right to know what my child is up to behind my back. Let's get real here, shall we? Putting some pathetic makeup on won't magically transform an ugly duckling like you into a princess. Not a chance in hell. You were born a freak of nature, and you'll always be a freak of nature. You're so repulsive and malformed that even if I dumped you at some rundown orphanage, trust me, no one would want a hideous creature like you. Count your lucky stars that I haven't kicked you out of to the streets yet, after all the years I've put up with your sorry existence. Hey mom, what's with all the hurtful words? Can you give me a break once in a while? I didn't choose to be this way, you know. I actually wish I had a normal body like everyone else. It's not like I enjoy being different. Wow, you're just a complete waste of time, money, and food, aren't you? Remember how you were when I brought you into this world? You were this adorable little baby with a perfect body that resembled an angel on earth. But what happened next? You had to go and be so dumb that you caught that bacterial infection which resulted in you losing a freaking leg. Honestly, I should have followed my motherly instinct and abandoned you at the hospital, letting you die without a second thought rather than bringing you home. You're just as feeble and pathetic as your useless father. Hey, could you do me a favor and just stop already? Seriously, you've been harping on the same old story for as long as I can remember. Don't you have anything else more interesting to talk about? Before you go pointing fingers at me, why don't you take a good look at yourself in the mirror and ask if you've actually done a decent job as a mother or not? What have you done for me that was actually positive during my entire childhood, besides constantly mocking my disability? Honestly? I have no doubt that my life would be a whole lot better if you just had given me up for adoption. Oh, what's this? Now you're giving me the attitude and snarking at me like some uncivilized barbarian? Unbelievable! This is completely unacceptable. It's downright insane. Fine, I'll let it slide this time. But here's a simple question for you. Why are you all dressed up? You're going somewhere? Yep. I'm actually going somewhere, and I'll be getting back pretty late, so I'll be able to cook dinner. Just go ahead and grab something to eat outside, alright? Oh, look at you. Acting all high and mighty, thinking you can order me around and dictate what I should do. Hey, here's a news flash for you. You're gonna have to stay here and watch over the house. Who the hell do you think you are to gallivant around at this time of the day? What gives you the right? Wait, did you forget? I mentioned to you that a friend of mine invited me to their house for dinner. Not only are they a good friend, but they're also an important business partner. They personally extended the invitation, so turning them down isn't really an option for me. Oh, what a load of garbage did I just hear. Friends? Business partners? Give me a break. Where on earth did you conjure up these delusions, huh? Miss Quasimodo? Let's face it. You're nothing more than a reclusive leech, a moocher who thrives on taking advantage of me and my hard-earned money. Stop lying! You don't have any friends because no one wants to be associated with a pathetic, wild-legged freak like you. What are you even saying? Of course I have friends, but you never let them come over to our house. You flat out refuse. Remember that one time when you actually chased my classmates away with a broom when he came to accompany me to school? Seriously, what's wrong with you? It's your attitude that scares of all my friends. Oh, come on. I was just doing them a favor by helping them escape from a parasite like you. Someone who sucks the happiness out of everyone. Can't you see it? Your negative and gloomy aura is like a black hole, dragging everyone around you down into the depths of misery. You're nothing short of a contagious plague, I'm telling you. Mom, you're just being ridiculous. Anyway, the taxi is here, so I better get going. Wow, did my words just bounce right off your thick skull? Did none of it register in that empty head of yours? Let me repeat myself. In case you're too dense to comprehend, you are absolutely not allowed to step even a toe outside this house, got it? I forbid it. And let me make this crystal clear. 
If you dare to defy my orders, I'll make sure your legs are shattered to pieces. You imbecile! Are you actually listening to me, Annabelle? Mom! Please, can you open the door? Where did you go? Why did you lock it from outside? I already told you that I have to go to my business partner's house for dinner. It's really important, Mom. Could you please unlock the door for me? It's getting late. Oh, please. Spare me the nonsense about your imaginary business partner. We all know you're just making up stories. You're just lying so you can sneak out and go party like a maniac in some nightclub or hang out with your delinquent friends, aren't you? You're nothing but a wretched and filthy girl. Do you honestly think you can still seduce men with a missing leg? You're like the least attractive creature on the face of the earth. Every man out there would just puke at the mere thought of getting intimate with you. You're that repulsive. What in the world are you talking about? Where are these absurd ideas coming from? Seriously! You're just being completely ridiculous. Can you please open the door for me? It'll be rude if I keep a friend waiting for too long. Dream on! I won't fall for your lies. And I certainly won't open the door for you. And don't even think about trying to play hero and opening the door yourself because I've already installed a deadbolt lock. Listen up. Today, my daughter and I are going to her boyfriend's house to meet his family. This Justin guy is incredibly wealthy, and I have my eyes set on him to become my daughter's future husband. It's a significant day for my daughter, and I need everything to go smoothly, which includes keeping a lunatic like you from stepping outside, causing chaos and ruining everything. Wait, what? Why do you think I would do something to spoil your daughter's special day? I'm really busy, you know, and I don't have a lot of free time to spare. Oh, so now you expect me to buy into your pathetic excuse? I'm well aware of the deep-seated resentment you've held against me and my daughter for years. This is just the perfect chance for you to get your twisted satisfaction by ruining her life. Well, let me tell you something. I see through all your lies and deceit. You better remember your place which is at home, doing all the chores I've assigned you. Once you've completed every single one of those tasks, I might consider opening the door and allowing you to attend your precious little fancy dinner. Wait, seriously? What kind of chores are you talking about? Vacuuming the lawn? Dusting the ceiling fan blades with a toothbrush? Polishing individual grains of rice? And scrubbing the sidewalk with a toothpick? Are you actually being serious right now? These chores? are completely ridiculous and absurd. Oh, no you don't. I won't tolerate any back talk from you. Just shut up and be a good, obedient daughter and do exactly what your oh-so-beloved mother tells you to do. Got it? Now, I better get going. Ha! My precious daughter is eagerly waiting for me. Listen up, Annabelle. You pathetic excuse for a human being. Why did you show up at my boyfriend's house? Are you out of your freaking mind? Nobody invited you there, okay? Or did you happen to see me there and then decided to creepily follow me? Tell me, what the hell were you up to? You know a little pest. Haven't I already explained it to you in plain English? My business partner, Dean, invited me to his family's dinner. I had no idea this is actually the brother of your boyfriend. It was a total coincidence, I swear. You're lying through your teeth, aren't you? This was your twisted plan from the start. You meticulously orchestrated this entire charade just to humiliate me in front of my boyfriend and his entire family. Didn't you? What a conniving snake you are. I should have been more cautious. I should have demanded that mom not only lock your sorry self inside the house, but throw you in the basement to rot away for the rest of your pathetic existence. Now, spill the beans. How on earth did you even manage to escape, huh? I'm waiting for your deceitful explanation. Oh well, guess what? I just reached out the locksmith service and they were kind enough to lend a hand in cracking the door open for me. It didn't take some time though. But hey, perseverance pays off, right? 
So yeah, I managed to make my grand exit after all that effort. What on earth is wrong with you? Why were you so damn stubborn? Can't you see it? It's crystal clear. Nobody wants you around, okay? It's like you're blind to the fact that everyone despises you because you're an amputee. You don't have two legs and that's a crime. You're just a constant source of embarrassment for everyone unlucky enough to be in your presence. Get a clue already and realize how much of a burden you are. Here's the thing, Lily. From where I'm standing, it looks like you're the one who made a complete fool out of yourself. You had absolutely no clue about the dynamics between me and your boyfriend's family. But you still thought it was a brilliant idea to go ahead and pull that stun on me. Are you for real? You tried to shove my face in the stove while my mom just stood there laughing. Unbelievable. There's some next level craziness right there. Oh, cry me a river. I was just following my instincts, okay? How was I supposed to know you were invited to my boyfriend's house? I thought you were just creeping around, trying to ruin my special day. Well, guess what? You managed to ruin all it by yourself. You went ahead and attempted to shove my face into the stove, leaving your boyfriend's family utterly shocked. They couldn't believe someone like you could stoop so low and do something as despicable as that. Bravo, champ. You really outdid yourself this time. It's all your fault. You got me kicked out of the family's dinner. That's my boyfriend's family we're talking about. No, not just any boyfriend. He is the one I intended to become engaged and married to. Can't you grasp the immense seriousness of this situation? Honestly, I have no clue. It's up to you to sort it out on your own. I mean, let's be real. You and mom were the ones constantly putting me down because of my disability. So, you were just getting what you deserve, you know? But... How the heck do you know about Justin's brother? It just doesn't make any sense at all. Didn't I tell you? Justin's brother is actually my business partner. We're running this online bookstore together. And now, we're planning to level up by opening a physical store. He invited me over to his place to talk strategy and scout for the perfect location. A bookstore? But you're this stupid, invalid mule. How on earth do you think you can pull that off? You don't even have enough legs for it. Well, news flash. It's true that my legs might have a disability, but guess what? My brain works just fine. Thank you very much. And oh, by the way, don't forget that I'll be suing you for assault and battery. So you better brace yourself for that little surprise too. Just saying. Oh, please. Sue me? Are you out of your mind? What in the world have I ever done to you, huh? Quit spewing this nonsense and get a grip. Are you suffering from some serious short-term memory loss or what? Have you conveniently forgotten what you pulled off at your boyfriend's place? You legit tried to shove my face into the stove. If it wasn't for Justin's brother stepping in, I would have ended up with a, some serious facial injuries. Oh wow, would you look at that? You didn't get hurt in the end, did you? So what's with all the fuss, huh? Miss One Leg Princess? Such a big deal over nothing. Hey, just to set the record straight, I didn't get hurt because someone actually came to my rescue. Not because your little action wasn't dangerous or life-threatening. Let's keep it real here, alright? Oh, really now? Where's your proof, huh? Do you honestly think the police will buy into your pathetic little lies? Yeah, right. Stop living in your fantasy world and face reality. You can't touch me, so quit pretending like you have any power. Really? Are you actually 100% sure about that? Because here's the thing. I've already talked to Justin, and he's totally on board to testify in my favor in court. And guess what? It's just not him. It's his whole family, if you want to be precise about it. So, good luck with your claims when you're up against all of them. Huh? Wait a minute. Why would Justin even do that? He's my boyfriend, for crying out loud. He should have my back and be protecting me, not testifying against me in court. Something doesn't add up here. Justin is your boyfriend? Stop living in your dream world and get back to reality, Lily. Do you really think that he still wants to be after that terrible thing you did to me? Of course he's gonna break up with you. Just face it, Lily, you've lost everything and you're heading straight to jail. No way. Seriously? You're totally making that up. I refuse to believe I'm going to jail. I'm way too young and gorgeous for that kind of thing. 
And what about all my dreams? I've always fantasized about living a super luxurious life without having to lift a finger. Going to jail would completely wreck my future. You can do this to me, Annabelle. I'm your cute little sis, and I still have my whole life ahead of me. Please, cut me some slack this time, okay? I promise, I'll treat you better. I'll even make sure mom treats you like royalty. Oh, great! Just when life gets a little tough, you suddenly decide to flip the script and make this grand promise to treat me better? Seriously? Come on, Lily. Do you really think I'm gonna buy into that? You're heading straight to jail. No doubt about it. And there's nothing that I can change that faith. So go ahead and enjoy your freedom while it lasts. Because trust me, it won't be for too long. Toodles! With the support of Justin's family testifying about what occurred at their house, the trial ruled in my favor, and justice was finally served as Lily was sent to jail for the crime she committed against me. Upon hearing that her daughter was going to jail, my mom was shocked and driven by revenge, even attempting to attack me after the trial concluded. However, she was swiftly stopped and subsequently arrested. After I moved out, the house was put up for sale, and the proceeds were divided among the three of us. Unfortunately, my mom squandered all the money shortly thereafter and had to settle for living in a cramped rented apartment. To make ends meet, she had to take on part-time jobs that paid a modest salary. Meanwhile, with the funds from selling the house and my own savings, I was able to purchase a high-rise condo with a breathtaking view. Moving forward, my focus will be on myself, nurturing my strengths and refusing to let my disability hold me back.